All right, playing something different. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been doing much uploads. The internet has been pretty bad uh, as of recently, so that's been kind of uh, an issue. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully this uploads uh, later on. <laughs> if not, then I really do hope that the internet works uh, when the uh, newest update for Ace 3 VR comes out. But anyways, I've been playing... Um, since I, I haven't been able to do anything, I've been playing some uh, Combat Mission Shock Force 2, which just came out on Steam. It's not a new game, it's a pretty old game, but it finally came out on Steam. And I've been interested in this game for a long time because... Well, I mean, um, I think the uh, tactical aspect of it was uh, the most interesting thing, but uh, we'll see that in a minute. I'll turn the music off because it's really loud. I wish they would have a uh, adjustment uh, adjustment for it, but uh, if it's on, it's on, and uh, it's on. <laughs> so, but uh, I'm just gonna turn it on. Uh, all right. So, like I said, I'm trying to get used to this game. It's actually not uh, easy, <laughs> to, to be completely honest. It takes a lot of um, takes a lot of practice. But uh, I'm going to go into training again because I still need some time to fully wrap my head around how this game works. And I'm going to do real time. I, I've played turn-based, but... Well, okay, you know what? Let's just go turn-based and I'll show you what I mean by uh, turn-based. <clears throat> uh, obviously, I'm going to put it on basic training because... Man, this game is tough. It's tough for somebody who doesn't know. I've, I've, only, I've only read about uh, combat mission, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it is a different beast. It's it's nothing. Well, I mean, if you've if you played a lot of strategy games, uh, tactical strategy games, then you'll probably be uh, you'll probably fit right at home with this game. But for me, I've played like the like well, I wouldn't say easy, but they, they you know they're more accessible strategy games. This is hardcore. This is hardcore stuff right here. So, <laughs> all right, so we got our training campaign briefing. Uh, if this is your first play, first time playing Combat Mission, we highly recommend blah blah blah. Oh yeah, this is the this is the thing that you have to you have, you have to realize. This is a hardcore game. We highly recommend that you follow the tutorial text in the Shock Force Two Supplemental Manual. So there is no there is no hand holding in this game. It just drops you in there and expects you to know what you're doing. You have to read the uh, 120 plus page manual, which I've done. It's um, it's helpful, but uh, I wish I could have like a physical version, or some way. There is, I think, a uh, a guide on Steam that you can open up. Oh, oh you see my uh, oh no, I think I broke uh, I think I broke my recording. Uh, hold on, just a second. Let me uh, pause this and restart the game. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, um, like I said, I can't really use the Steam overlay, which is, you know, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go w uh, without a manual, but that's how, that's how you know that this game is hardcore. <laughs> you have to read the manual. It's one of those games back when, uh, manuals were a thing, like, uh, the old flight sim games, like, uh, Falcon or, uh, Jane's, uh, you'd have to read this, uh, binder. Of, of material just to play the game, which is, uh, <laughs> so anyways, we've got the, uh, basic gunnery range, uh, advanced gunnery range, fire support range, practical exercise. This is one out of four. I think if I remember correctly, there's four missions. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, basically this is like a, this first mission is basically a tutorial on movement. Uh, I, I hesitate to use the word tutorial since it doesn't really tell you that much, but, <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, you can read all that. I'm not really going to read that, but uh, since I've already read it before, but hopefully you can read that. And again, music is very loud. I wish you could adjust it, at least. But it's there. <laughs> I think somebody, if I remember correctly, at one of the videos I watched, somebody actually modded the music files so that they weren't as ear-blastingly loud. <laughs> Which I will, I will try, I mean, I'll, I might try to figure out how to do that, you know. <clears throat> but it is loud. <laughs> it is loud music. 
All right, so basically, uh, this just tells you all your uh, cool stuff. Uh, yep. Okay. Today's training starts with a platoon of dismounted infantry. In five minutes, two M1A2 SEP Abrams tanks and two M2A3 Bradley IFVs, infantry fighting vehicles, will arrive near the east edge of the training range. You got enemy targets uh, scattered about the small arms and gunnery ranges. Plan is to move through the numbered objectives to the small arms range uh, and uh, practice some basic movement commands. And uh, yeah. And then you cease fire to continue the next mission. So <clears throat> this is the map. It tells you everything, right? And uh, one of my soldiers is talking. Uh, this is where uh, this is where you start. This is uh, where the reinforcements come, and this is the whole range. It's pretty big. And uh, let's see the game. This is the game. It might not look much. I've turned down the settings though, because uh, if I put them on high, then the game will just start to chug. <laughs> so, but this game is not focused on looks. This is uh, this is a simulation, tactical strategy game, that. Uh, is pretty again like I like I said hardcore. So basically, uh, you've got your uh, troops here. Got your uh, what are these guys? The uh, HQ, which is uh, basically the commander. You got your uh, first squad, third squad, second squad. All right, so let's uh, let's see if I remember correctly. Again, I'm trying to get used to all this stuff. It's uh, a wealth of just like information overload. <laughs> uh, it's not easy, but uh, you just got to get used to it. All right, so to move your soldiers around, uh, let's see. Let me see what am I gonna do here? Oh my goodness, I'm already <laughs> I'm already getting confused. Hold on. Um, all right, so they have different movement speeds. You've got like regular slow movement, so we're gonna show that off. First squad will go to range control here. So I've selected them. There they are. Uh, you can actually split them as well, so if you want, you can split teams. Uh, there's options here. This is uh, this is movement, combat, special, and administration, admin, right? And again, you can you can split them into teams. The you can split them into assault teams, anti-tank teams, scout teams, which is good for like uh, scouting and uh, finding enemies. Uh, well, assault team is pretty self-explanatory. Anti-tank team, same thing. I've never been able to actually combine a squad. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, don't ask me about that button. This is special. Uh, you can do special actions like hide or stop them. Pause. Pop smoke if you need to. Uh, we'll see more of this pop smoke later. Uh, combat. Combat is pretty self-explanatory. You've got target, which basically just targets. Target light means, uh, target light infantry. Uh, target arc is a specified, like, uh, basically you can do this, a certain area. <clears throat> Clear target, obviously if you want to get rid of a target, let's say you target this. Clear that target, oh, there, no, 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 cease fire. Face just means that they, uh, turn and face, uh, direction. Target armor arc is basically them focusing in an arc in a specified, like, range for armored targets only. And target briefly, I've never really used this that much, but I hear it's a really good uh, strategic option. Basically, uh, you can target something and then tell them to fire upon that uh, target for, I think, seconds? Or you can, you can increment the seconds. So it's like, um, like you want them to fire for 30 seconds, you just click it, set it to 30 seconds, they'll fire for 30 seconds, and then you move like another team in while they're firing, and once they stop firing, hopefully you've timed it all perfectly. Again, you have to time this. This isn't, uh, this isn't like some of those other games where they just do it automatically. You have to like think about this. Then they will move in and hopefully, because I think there's friendly fire in this game. I've, I've had situations where I've had like, 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 you know, first squad firing in a building, then I tell second squad to go and assault that building. And then somehow, I guess, like, I don't think the enemy was firing because they were pinned, but some of my troops from second squad got wounded, so I think there's friendly fire in this game. I'm not too sure. 
But uh, yeah, that's that's target briefly. And movement options, uh, fast. You want them to move fast. You want them to move quick or just regular move. Just like, you know, walk walk to the uh, destination. These have a, um, whatchamacallit? The, uh, everything is really simulated. So your soldiers, they have like uh, the, their enemy, uh, not sorry, the enemy, their, uh, their energy, their energy levels, their psychological levels. So if you want them to move fast, they'll move fast, but that will affect their shooting ability and their, um, their tiredness. <clears throat> so you don't want to do that too much. You can make them move quick. And I think if they, if they move fast, if I remember correctly, they can't shoot because they're just, you know, running quick is uh, actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's actually do this. Let me move these guys there. That's a waypoint. And then you can have multiple if you want. But I will just uh, delete that. I want them to move to range control. Uh, this is turn-based mode. I forgot. Okay, so let's uh, get out of that. Let's actually have these guys do a quick move, and then you can see them, the difference between. And then we'll have... Uh, uh, actually, you know what? I want to change this. Let's make them go fast. They will move fast. These guys will move quick. So you can see the difference between uh, those three. And we'll get to these other ones later. But, uh, alright, so to start the turn, you press this button right here, which starts it. These are to forward and uh, reverse, so if you want to undo something, if you did something bad, you click this. If you want to just move it forward, you click this. This is to pause, this is to, uh, well, this is like an incremental redo. This is like an all-the-way redo, like, if you want to start the turn over. Uh, let's see. Alright, so... We've got everybody set up. They are pretty good. And they, I mean, they do things automatically. Sometimes if they're, like, stressed out, they, they might not follow your orders uh, to the letter. But if you do, if you do, uh, if you're good, if you're good commanding skills, if you have good commanding skills, then they will do everything that you, you want them to do. Don't just throw them to the meat grinder because that's a bad idea. Again, these guys, uh, the, 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 the psychology of, uh, of soldiering is kind of simulated with these, uh, with your units. So keep that in mind. We're going to do the real time. These guys are moving, uh, fast. These guys are moving normally. These guys are moving quick, which, uh, they've decided to take range control as well, <laughs> which is weird. But, uh, yeah, so these guys are running. Like, ultra fast. Uh, well, they, I get. I mean, it looks like the same as quick, but these guys can't shoot. So, quick is good for assaulting. Normal is just good for, like, patrolling. You want to get to some place, but you're worried that the, uh, the troops are a little tired. Then you put them on, uh, move. Just move normally. <clears throat> fast is when... Is when the uh, how how is it? Is when the shit hits the fan. <laughs> that's that's fast, pretty much. And then quick is just good for like simple assaults. Although there is an assault movement option. So basically, turns last for thirty seconds. And um, hopefully, uh, the your troops have done uh, what they are supposed to do. Well, this, this is a good example right here. They haven't really finished their order yet, so. The either the, you either like let them finish it, or you can cancel it, which I am going to do uh, by canceling that waypoint. Okay, so uh, what else can we talk about here? Let's talk about uh, oh, let's talk about breaching or uh, clearing buildings. So basically, it's the same thing. You tell them to uh, move into the building. They should move into the building, and uh, buildings have multiple levels, so you might have enemies on the roof. Or level one. Usually they're in level one and they have machine guns on you, so that's a pretty bad thing. But uh, we'll see that in a minute. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'm not going to do it here because uh, it would be pretty bad. Actually, you know what? Let's get um, let's get our uh, HQ over to this building over here and tell them to go onto the roof. Ideally, I think the... Um, I'm not so... I don't know if this is... A thing that people should do but um, hold on uh, let me see 
Let me just, uh, let's say that make them go here fast and then quick. I'm going to make them clear every level. It's good practice, I guess. I mean, I'm not really sure if that matters. I do it anyways. <clears throat> but they should clear every level. So there are four levels, including the roof. So, yeah. All right. Let me just move these guys over to the uh, range over here. And we can get started with combat, which is, uh, again, very, very, um, very, very complex. This game is a very complex game. And I forgot, yeah, since these guys, uh, since these guys use the fast maneuver, they're tired. All right, see, it says they're tired. So they can't use fast. They can, however, still run. So we're going to make them move over to this wall here. And I'm going to, uh... Change my camera so that it's a little more higher. But let's get some combat in here. Alright, so uh, one thing I don't like about the real time is that I... Well, I, honestly, I think it just... It's it's too... Um, the, the, the game plays a little too slow to work in real time. A lot of people love it. I, you know, it's... Uh, wait a minute, what's this? Oh, okay. I know. I, I was just wondering which which uh, which uh, group is moving this way. Okay, but uh, again, it, it's it. I don't. I'm not really a fan of the real time. Uh, sorry, the uh, turn based turn based. I'm a fan of the real time, uh, uh, play style. So, well, you know, I'll 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 just uh, get on with it. And if it comes up, then I'll explain why. But basically, I mean, you can you can skip ahead. So if you just press this button again, or you can skip like by increments. So this is skipping increments. This just skips ahead. You're here, and we've got contact over here. We've got uh, we've got some uh, the the opposing force all uh, ready to go here. <clears throat> and as you can see, that uh, well. How do I, how do I like, uh, how do I explain this? Uh, to me, like, re to me, like, turn-based, it, it feels like I can't, I can't change things. Like, if I try to change things, it'll, like, um, well, I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going until this turn is, uh, over. But, yep, we're in contact. Because the okay, I think I know how to I I think I know how to um to put this into words. With real time, you can pause the game right, and then you can modify orders as they happen. With with turn based, I'm I pause the game, but I can't change any of the orders. None of the none of the none of the stuff is is happening. Now theoretically, you could go back and undo stuff, right? Like before you paused. Well, I, I thought it was gonna. Yeah, I thought it was. We could re replay that stuff. But yeah, see, uh, that's the thing about turn-based. You you can't you can't really modify orders on the fly. You have to wait for your turn to be over. So now you can do your thing, and that's why I'm not really a fan of turn-based. I I get it from like a difficulty perspective. A lot of people love it because you know you're locked into that action, right? So you have to actually think about your, your like, you know, your actions. But for me personally, I'm just like, like, for example, uh, I'm, I'm telling, uh, I'm telling, you know, third squad to take this building. Right. And suddenly there's, uh, and then I'm telling fourth, fourth squad to, you know, just cover them. Right. And then they're, they're taking this building, but suddenly there's an enemy inside this building popping out with a, you know, machine gun emplacement. And I want, instead of, instead of taking this building, I want, you know, this squad to hunker down, to get down, you know, or, or something like that. And, you know, because if they, if they move any further, they're going to get cut down. But I can't tell them to do that if I'm on turn-based mode, because they're locked into that, that, you know, that action. So they get cut down, and then you've just lost a lot of soldiers. I mean, I, I think you could, like, maybe, you know, tell them to at least, like, refocus their, you know, their fire 
on this one or you know like have you know they're they're guarding this they're 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 covering this building and then this one has like a machine gun so you want to tell this guy these guys to 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 start firing on this guy so you can protect these guys but you can't do that in turn based at least I don't know if I can I, again this game is extremely complicated so but uh, anyways let's just uh, forget about that and uh, actually focus on this <clears throat> So I want to, um, let's say I want to, uh, I want to move my men forward. So what I usually would do, th I mean, and this is not the, you know, this is not the, the best solution for this. This is my play style. But what I usually do is I, um, let's say I move these guys over here. I move first squad. In, and then they are going to target um, they're going to target this building here All right, second squad is going to move towards the center and they're going to shift and then I am going to have them do a target arc around uh, this area just a general you know just, just for cover Right? And then these guys are just, like, observing. But I can have them target, too, so... Have them target arc. And then I'm just gonna cover the... this area right here. Overlapping fields of fire, right? <laughs> I'm not really, uh, yeah, I'm just throwing words out there. <clears throat> uh, okay, so... For third squad, I want them to take this building. So I'm going to have them... And, you know, if, if you've played Combat Mission before, you can tell me that what I'm doing is wrong. Uh, I will I will look at that, because, again, I just got this game, so, you know. But I will have uh, third squad pop smoke. They're going to pop smoke. And they are going to... I want them... Well, you know, I think Assault is the the best way of doing things but again I don't know if uh, I should be doing uh, have them move fast and then assault or just have them assault the building <clears throat> um, alright I'm going to have them move quickly Over here. And then I'm going to have them assault. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. You know what? And again, I could be wrong with this, but I'm going to split the team into an assault team. All right, he's going to pop smoke. Well, these, they, these two teams are going to pop smoke. I actually don't know how to cancel them from popping smoke. Which uses up their smoke grenade for some reason, I think. Well, I know. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but, okay, so they're gonna pop smoke. I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have these guys target this building as well. And maybe I'll have, uh, these guys target this building instead. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, oh, actually, no, 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 hold on. I'll have them target this building. And then have these guys target this one? <laughs> sure, why not? And then I'll just keep um, keep second squad on like, you know, that 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 thing. Alright, so we're gonna have oh, actually, you know what? Let's not have them target. We'll have these guys target. Alright, these guys, I don't know if they can pop smoke. Okay, they can pop smoke. Pop smoke. And then I want them to, let's say, um, I want them to move quickly to this building. And then I want them to uh, move quickly into the building, take level one, and then we'll see how that goes.
Okay, we're moving uh, first squad into position. They'll start providing some covering fire. And I think we have enemies in here. Uh-oh, somebody's shooting. They were supposed to pop smoke. I don't know what happened. I, I Like I said, I don't know the intricacies of this game. I, I will have to keep playing it. I think they popped smoke. No, they didn't pop smoke? Okay. Oh, well, these guys are... Uh, injured, but there is a machine gunner in there. Okay, okay, okay. See, this is why this is why I don't like turn-based, since I can't tell the other teams to stop firing. But I mean, look, there is an option to target briefly, and uh, again, it takes like a big brain to like co computate like the amount of time it takes, you know, uh, s stuff to happen. So I don't know, maybe for people who like real time or, or sorry turn-based, that that might be the option for them. I'm just you know I I'm not. I'm not that smart, so... <laughs> so anyways, like I said, I want these guys to stop. So clear target. And, um... <clears throat> let's say, uh... I want them now to move quickly and back up this team. So they're going to level 2 this time. While these guys still focus their fire on either this building or this building right here so keep these guys covered while well, these guys uh take action hey no one no one got shot okay that's pretty good <laughs> nobody died yet <laughs> that's the word that's the operative word yet so uh yeah okay uh these guys are gonna the, these guys are gonna assault the uh, first floor and uh let's go These guys, I think, surrendered. Oh. Enemy yeah, they all surrendered. Oh, these guys are in panicked. Okay, he's supposed to pop smoke. I don't know what happened there, but he's not popping smoke. So these guys surrendered. Good. We're still moving uh, this squad up. They're going to go across. Hopefully the... Uh, Okay, these guys are uh, shooting. Uh oh. Did I hear somebody get injured? No. Okay. That's pretty amazing. These guys haven't uh, gotten hit yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Get out of there. Ignore the guys in the trenches. Uh, that's not your job. <laughs> go, go clear that building. Okay, so that building has been cleared. Good, good. All right. Uh, oh, I guess they pop smoke now, which is really weird. I wanted them to pop smoke here, which uh, they didn't. But I, again, that's probably just because I messed up somehow. All right. So now we, oh, we got our vehicles. We will check that out in a minute. Let me just uh, set this up here. All right. I want these guys to clear the target. I want them to move uh, at least like center to uh, where this uh, place is <clears throat> and then uh, I think I might split them no 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 we'll, we'll split them in the next turn and then I want them to target uh, this uh, this building same time all right so um, oh these guys move that's why they're um, their arc moved as well and yeah, I keep forgetting that. All right, so I want these guys to uh, stay there, but this time target this area. And then I want these guys to clear that target. Since they're stationary, I'll just have them uh, cover this this trench. Actually, nope, I want them to cover this whole area. Okay. That should be uh, the this turn. All right, so I focused on that. Let's actually focus on the vehicles now. The uh, armored. We got our two Abrams, Abrams tanks here, and we've got our uh, strikers. Strikers or Bradleys? Sorry, they're Bradleys. 
I think that's four of them, right? Yeah. So basically, we need to get over to the uh, gunnery range, so I need to tell them to move. Move, uh... Just move. There's four of you guys. Go here. Actually, I will go overhead for this. So I can... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I think that was... Uh, oh, no, I, I removed the uh, waypoint. Okay, well, you're gonna go there. Right click to uh, complete an action. All right, I'm gonna move the other uh, the other um, e rooms. Think wait, did I call them e rooms. <laughs> I think I called them e rooms, right? Hopefully I did. And then the um, the Bradleys. We'll move them down. It'll take them a while to get to the uh, gunnery range, so. I think I put the uh, waypoints down. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, go back to this view, and uh, we'll uh, we'll keep going with this. Compute those actions. Okay, move. Reposition themselves. Right. Okay. And again, I wish it was real time so that I could just immediately tell them to, hey, you know, split the teams. I'm going to split them again. Split them to teams. All right. Uh, these guys will pop smoke and then target. Oh, no, no. They can't pop smoke and target. Okay. Uh, just target, I guess. For the target. I don't think they can pop smoke. They don't have smoke. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So I see. I see. Like, um, they both don't have smoke. Th th only this group has smoke. So I guess this will be the assault. These guys will, uh, target. These guys will pop smoke. Pop smoke. And then move quickly to, oops, move quickly to this building and then level one. These guys are still firing. And I think, uh, I think that's good. Okay. Yeah. Gonna pop smoke. Hopefully. Why aren't you popping smoke? I wish it would pop smoke now. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's uh, uh, that's something I need to read up on. I, I think I'm misunderstanding the whole pop smoke thing. But let's uh, skip ahead here. All right, these guys should uh, cease fire, and then I think I should move them to assault this while these guys against... Let's clear that target for a minute. Uh, let's move them here, and then again target that building. All right, let's see where our vehicles are at. Uh, oh, yeah, they're, they've arrived. And uh, basically, you can tell them, you can you can move them the same way as these guys, but they have their unique little uh, little things. So uh, I learned that hold down means that uh, basically uh, that means that you know they can start using their like mounted machine guns and stuff when they move. So, that's a thing. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, basically, uh, I didn't talk about hunt or slow, right? Hunt is them, like, moving really slowly. It works for infantry as well. They'll, like, they'll actively search for, like, targets while moving really slowly. And then slow is just them moving slow. Or, uh, well, there might be some more depth 
to that, but uh, <laughs> I'll probably have to uh, explain it later on. But basically, I want these guys to, uh, since there's infantry out in the field as well, I want them to hull down. Did this guy surrender? Oh, no, he's not. He's not surrendering. All right. Uh, I want him to move, uh, to hull down, move forward a bit, start taking out targets there. Hold down, move uh, a bit forward. And then these Bradleys, I want them to hold down. Move forward. It'll add to the waypoint there. And hold down and move forward. There we go. Let them just like start like walking. You know, towards the uh, walking, uh, you know, moving towards the uh, the enemies there. All right, so we'll get back to the uh, infantry here, and let's see. Uh, I don't think anybody was hurt. Nobody was hurt, right? Nobody's been hurt so far. Good. All right. Not bad. Actually, them popping smoke. Uh, Usually popping smoke here is actually pretty good because there's enemies here and they're shooting as well, so. So they're just going to do their thing. Oh, these guys surrendered. Okay, good. Got infantry over there. They're running away. They are, I think... Panicking. Yep, they're panicking. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he got shot. Uh, that's a casualty. Okay, so that's the turn is done. Let's check out our uh, tank bros here. These guys surrendered, right? Oh yeah, they surrendered. <laughs> okay. This guy is a casualty. This guy is panicked and surrendering. That's good. We got uh, several dudes over here. Several destroyed tanks. These tanks are really good at shooting stuff. And we got some tanks over there. So, you know what? Since there are no more tanks over here, let's move the Abrams. Let's do a quick move. Past all these guys. Uh, I actually have to watch out for buildings because sometimes uh, units are inside the buildings and they uh, they will shoot uh, stuff at your tanks. Okay, once they reach that location, they're going to move quickly. Also, trees. Trees are bad. Trees are bad. <laughs> you never know when uh, enemies can be hiding in trees. Okay, uh, let's see. There's still enemies on the field here, so we're just going to do a hold down. And hold down here. Alright. Still moving. Alright, let's get back to the infantry. Okay, we still got to clear this uh, small arms range, so... Alright. Again, I'm going to split these... Uh, into teams. Salt team. Alright, no smoke this time. I don't know. The smoke didn't seem to work. Wait, hold on. Oh, here we go. Actually, no. Wait. Alright, pop smoke. And then quick move towards this. And then inside level one. Again, I could be I could be doing this like the most inefficient way possible. And you know, that's you know, that's just the way it is. This game is a very hard to master. So, you know, you can't really uh can't really get it on the first try. This is like I'm probably like seven hours into this game and I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so <laughs> don't uh you know, don't judge me for that. I I, I need to learn more. Obviously, I need to read the manual more. But I think this is how it works. 
Uh, well, you know what? I already had the option there to pop smoke, and I can't really do anything. But I can... Well, I don't know. It, it takes that off, so whatever. All right. That's fine. Oh, see, they're shooting. Somebody's shooting. Are there people inside that building? I can't really tell. It's been... It's been destroyed. I'm just going to pause for a minute and check out what's happening over here. Did these guys surrender? These guys surrendered. Okay, yes. When faced with overwhelming over, overwhelming uh, odds, I think it's best to just raise your hands and surrender. <laughs> I mean, you're facing against tanks. And I think they got rid of the, um, the tank over here. If I'm... Well, maybe not. Oh, it's knocked out. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, okay. The, I guess the um, armored is done. Now it's just the infantry. They still have to uh, take this this section right here. <clears throat> but uh, let's speed this up. Oh, we got a couple of stragglers inside the trenches over here. They're probably... Yeah, oh, he's just going to get murdered. <laughs> No quarter given, huh? Okay, we still got some guys over there. That's okay. All right, so these guys are going to take that first floor. These guys are going to clear target, please. Stop shooting at your own men. And I want you to get to level two. In the meantime, I will take uh, these guys on the second floor, and I will tell them to move up to the roof. Uh, these guys the same. I'm going to tell them to move to the roof. And then once those guys... Alright, I am going to take the uh, HQ. They are very valuable. You don't want to lose them because they have communication with... Uh, if I remember correctly, they have communication with uh, the uh, network, right? The uh, soldier network or whatever. The, the C3? Was it called C3? Command and control or something? And basically, if you have, like, artillery or, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, air support or drones, yeah, you need, you need, uh, you need communication with the, um, with the guys back, back at the base. So if you lose your line of communication, uh, then, uh, you won't get that. So, you know, you gotta make sure these guys are safe. Uh, I've... Uh, it never really works out for me though, the, though, because uh, these guys usually die, <laughs> and then I never get to use the um, the uh, support. So, but uh, with the training, they'll 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 drill that into your head. They'll say that, hey, you need to keep these guys okay. So I, I usually I usually leave them out of the action until it's relatively clear, and then I will quick move them. Let's clear the target here. I will quick move them to this building under the roof. Uh, actually, uh, d these guys, uh, I should have them, uh, you know, put some fire on these guys. So let's just, uh, let's just do an area target. That means that, uh, they, they'll shoot a certain area. They're not going to hit anything, but I mean, it's good to pin down the enemy, right? And then we got these guys. I want them to target this uh, this enemy target right there. Because I don't think there's anybody in that jeep. Uh, these guys are still doing their thing. And uh, yeah, they're gonna do. They're gonna move. They're gonna start moving. And again, with like, with real time, I would just pause the game and then like, since these guys got to the roof, I would tell them, hey, you know, uh, attack these guys or, you know, you know, target these guys over here since they can see them now. But I can't do that until the turn ends. So let's just skip ahead. 
And, um... Alright. I want these guys to target... These enemies. I will retask these guys to target, um... Oh, well, they can see them too, so... Let's just target this, uh, vehicle. Uh, these guys can target the, uh... The building over here. Oh, actually, you know what? I will have these guys target the building too. But I will take the guys on the first floor. Because I'm going to take the guys on the first floor. And then I'm going to run them through the gauntlet here. Uh, Clear target. The guys on the first floor. Yeah, just clear target. Okay, they're still uh, doing their thing, right? Where are these guys going? HQ. HQ is still on the way. These guys will be alright. You know what? I want them to move to the roof immediately. So let's just uh, cancel this. Get to the roof. And then I want them to target... Uh... Oh, no. Let's just target... Uh... Oh. I want them to target this... Uh... Can I target this vehicle? No. There. Just put that in that uh, general area. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, everyone's getting into place. I think uh, it's time to move. So I'm going to take these guys. I'm going to select all three of the guys on the first floor here. I'm going to move them towards this trench. Right? They should move automatically. They should be uh, covered. Hopefully none get injured, but... Uh, Stuff happens. Watch out. Enemy vehicle. Well, they should start moving. Or what are they shooting at? Are they shooting at this guy? Why are you shooting? Guys, no. Don't shoot. Shoot those guys. Shoot. All right. Okay. This is pretty bad. We are getting... Uh, we are under fire. This would have been a good time for smoke, but I kind of wasted that. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. Okay, these guys are trying to escape. They're running away. They are panicked. They are leaving. They are getting out of there. <laughs> okay, uh, this is pretty bad. This is this is again. This is when I would pause the game in real time, and then like. Tell these guys, since they have optics on, on these guys right here, I would tell the guys back here to start firing, you know, and giving cover to these guys. These guys are not important. Yet these guys are still firing at these guys. Right? I would take these guys and then start, you know, laying down cover, right? But I can't do that in in um in real time. And then these guys are getting shot at, so <laughs> it's like Okay. But anyway, let's skip ahead. Hopefully nobody got injured. Oh, no. There are guys here. This is bad. <clears throat> I think uh, they, uh, they're they okay. They still haven't made it to the uh, trench yet, but... Uh, yeah, this is a bad spot right here. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Ignore. Well, is anybody still alive here? We've got a couple of people. Uh, can't see them because they're they're hidden. Okay. Uh, all right. You're still shooting at this building, which is good. Then we've got these guys. I want you to target... Oh. Those guys over there, right? But I want these guys to target... This. And these guys are still doing their thing, which is kind of strange. You're supposed to be at the top of the roof. I don't know what's going on there. Oops, no, I didn't I didn't want to do that. Sorry. I wanted to move. Quick move to the roof, please. 
Because I need you to provide some cover for these guys. Oh, did we just lose one? Oh, we lost one. We got a casualty. No. Our leader. Second squad. You lost your leader. Why? <laughs> All right. These guys surrendered. Which is uh, good. All right. Well, uh, everybody is uh, set. I just skip ahead forward. Again, I would just pause the game in real time and, you know, task them to do something else. All right, making sure that uh, everybody is all set here. I actually want you to target. Let's target this building first. All right. Okay, how are we going to do this? Uh, let's see. All right. We got everybody uh, targeting things here. All right, let's get uh, let's get these guys to target this building, and then I'm gonna take uh, a team from the uh, first squad, and I'm gonna have them move quickly to this building right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna have them clear the first floor. And uh, while that's happening, I'll have these guys target this building as well. And, uh... They start their movement. And we'll just skip ahead. Hopefully nobody got injured. Nobody? Good, good, good. Alright, at this point, I will tell uh, the teams to not target that building and target this one. So they don't shoot their own people. I honestly think friendly fire is on. You know? But, uh... Okay, uh... Can't see anybody. There's still this guy over here. Which is, uh... You know what? I'll have, um... I'll have these guys target this, uh... Area over here. Just, just do it. Just harass them, you know? All right, so these guys are targeting. These guys are taking. Actually, you know what? I should start moving towards... Uh, I should start moving towards this building. Take level one here. But they'll target this building. Because it doesn't look like there's anybody here. Head. Okay, they should be okay. I am going to clear target on all these so that they don't shoot anybody. Oh, wait, no, they're, um, oh, no, that's no, all right. That's all right, that's all right. I'm actually going to change my plan here. I'm going to move these guys quickly. You take uh, the level two and then take the roof. Then have these guys go quickly. Take level two and then take the roof. Uh, do I have line of sight on this? Uh, not sure I do. You know what? I am just going to move these guys over here. And then I'm going to have them target this building. Right there. <clears throat> oh yeah, I can skip forward. Okay, that seems to be pretty good. These guys are... 
Still targeting this building. It seems to be, uh... Seems to be pretty clear now. So, I'm gonna have these guys move quickly and take level one. These guys are going to move quickly and take level two and the roof. <clears throat> and I think this is about it. This is the final push right here. Can't see if there's anybody still alive in here. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody... But I have been surprised before. Usually, uh... Usually somebody comes out with a machine gun and just mows down a line of my troops. <laughs> so, yeah. That has happened before. Let's, uh, skip ahead a little bit. Okay, done, done. Alright, um, these guys need to stop. So, let's clear the target here. Let's clear the target here, because these guys already got it handled. Right? Completing the action. Okay. They've got it handled. Pretty good. Oh, who are you shooting at? What's going on there? I think they got somebody. Let's move this ahead. Hopefully they can get to the roof. And I think we are done. We are finished. Oh, we still got you guys here. That's really weird. I thought they surrendered. I guess not. But you know what? I, I think this is an over overwhelming victory for me. And just in time, too. One hour. Usually games go for a lot longer. But this is a training mission, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, uh, if you want to end the uh, mission, uh, and you think you've uh, won, you press ceasefire. Don't press surrender. I've learned that the hard way. Uh, but ceasefire. And we won. Total victory. So we got one man killed. Uh, the team leader for second squad A team? I, I forgot. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Versus the, uh, versus the 21, 15 men missing. But, uh, yeah. There's some other stuff here, too. I never really, uh, checked it out. I don't know if these guys are legit, like, in the game or not. Are you in here? Oh, there are troops here. Huh. Okay. But, uh, yep. Yeah. So that's how you play. Uh, well, that's how you. That's not how you play. That's. That's. Th this is a terrible playthrough of combat mission. Strike Force 2. But uh, I'm still learning. So. Uh, let me just press escape here. And uh, yeah. That's a little bit of combat. Combat mission Strike Force 2. It's a very complex game. Like I said, it's. I mean, you have, to, again, when, when one of the requirements is reading a manual, you know this game is pretty hardcore. <laughs> so, uh, as far as if I'm going to do any more of these, maybe, maybe not. But if, if you notice that I have gone silent, then I'll be probably playing this game because this is actually a pretty fun game to play. I've been doing some of the, uh, campaign missions and, uh, you know, they take a long time, but it's, it's great, um. It's great playing the game. It's a, it's a fun game, at least to me. Uh, I don't think anybody else would find this fun, but it's uh you know, it's tactical strategy, um, craziness. You know, uh, it's pretty cool. But anyways, that's about it for today. Hopefully, uh, my internet's working that I can upload this video. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.